create EAN13 barcodes in Excel. This tutorial includes the following contents. Install barcode for Excel add-on. Unzip file on barcode. Excel barcode trial.zip. Click and open the exe file. Click button next on form on barcode Excel 2021 add-on. Install Shield Wizard. Click button install. Click button yes. Click button. Finish. You can have installed the barcode for Excel add-on successfully. Open Excel application. Go to Toolbar. Add-ins. You can find the on barcode barcode add-in installed. Uninstall barcode for Excel add-on. You need uninstall the existing barcode Excel add-on first. If you need upgrade the software or install the licensed software. Click System menu. Start. Click Settings. In left menu, choose Apps. Then select Item, Apps and Features. In the App list, find the installed application on Barcode Excel 2021 add-in. Click Dots and choose uninstall follow the steps to uninstall the software quick to create an EAN13 barcode image in excel open office excel application with a new document go to toolbar tab add ins click button Create barcode from on barcode. On the opened pane, barcode settings, apply the following settings change. Select a cell, such as G6, where you want to create barcode. Set barcode type to EAN13. Set the 12 digits filed data. Click button, generate. You can find the created EAN13 barcode image on cell G6. How to generate a valid EAN13 barcode images. EAN13 includes 13 digits. Valid data length is 12 digits. The last digit is the checksum digit, which will be calculated by software automatically. How to create an EAN13 image by using selected cell data. In the Excel document, the cell, C4, has the valid barcode data. Generate an EAN13 barcode image. Select the created barcode image and click, link to cell. Select a cell, C4, with your target data. Now. You can find that the link to cell button label immediately changes to update. Click button update and then this barcode is dynamically linked to the cell. Now you can find that the barcode image has been updated with new data from cell C4. If you change the cell C4 data into a new one, select the barcode image. Click button, update. The barcode image will be updated with new cell data. Click button, update all linked barcodes. All barcode images with linked cell data will be updated. How to create a high resolution EAN13 image for printing. Here we will generate an EAN13 image with 900 dpi, 2 inch width, and 1.2 inch height. In Excel normal view mode, you cannot control the image width and height. Office Excel will adjust the image width and height during printing. To get the exactly barcode image width and height, you need switch view to page layout mode. Please follow the steps. Go to Toolbar tab. View. 
In workbook views section, switch normal to page layout. Open, add ins, and click, create barcode. Choose a cell such as, B2, to place the generated barcode image. Choose the, barcode type, as, EAN13. Input the correct 12 digits data. Click button, generate. In tab, barcode size. Set, auto resize, to checked. Set, unit of measure, to, inch. Set, DPI, to 900. Set, image width, to 2. Set, image height, to 1.2. Set, text margin, to 0.1. In tab, 1D barcode. Set, font, size to, 14. Click button, update. You can find the updated barcode images. To check the generated barcode image width, please follow the steps. Set barcode image cell's background color to gray, in order to measure the image length. In toolbar file, chose, save as Adobe PDF. Open the PDF document with a PDF editor software, such as Acrobat. In tools, select measure. Click button, measure tool. Add measure. Now you can see that the inserted barcode image is 2 inch in the PDF document. How to generate a barcode list from a cell list in Excel. To create multiple barcodes from a list of cells, you need open batch barcode generation pane. Go to, add ins, click, create barcodes, and, batch barcode. Generate the template barcode. To create multiple barcodes with your required barcode settings, you need create a template barcode image, and customize the property settings. Here is the template barcode. But we need the barcode width to 6 and change the font size to 14. Then click, update. Now the template barcode is ready for use. Select a list of continuous cells with barcode data, from a single column only, and click button, generate batch barcodes. Now you need choose a barcode as a template, and all new created multiple barcodes will use the same properties as this barcode's properties. After barcode template selected, now you need choose a cell, where all new barcode images will be generated. And click button. Generate batch barcodes to view all the barcodes which you created. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. You'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes. See you next time. Bye.